So much. I was the last time in uh, in India in, in Delhi at the end of April uh, with the World Bank, uh, the Hydrogen for Development Partnership, where DI has uh, joined, it became one of the partners, you know, alongside Hydrogen Council, Arena, and uh, yeah, some of our partners. So uh, this has been actually an eye opener. I always say, India, in terms of uh, well, objectives, Europe has bold objectives, India has as well. But I, th I think in terms of execution. India is sometimes more pragmatic because Europe, you know, on the delegated act, uh, regulatory framework and many things, it tends to a little bit over engineer sometimes also because, of course, things are very complex in Europe with uh, so many different interests. But uh, India is a good example with bold objectives, but uh, pragmatic execution. So India, well, it's uh, the biggest population in the world now, huge uh, achievement over the last few years on uh, you know, well beyond 100 gigawatt plus, uh, with objective to have 450 gigawatt by 2030. So big plans in hydrogen. So I think in this sense, uh, it is really a nice opportunity uh, to go to India uh, at the right time. And uh, well, the message is, well, uh, the race is on. So, you know, so many countries are moving now. So focus on execution, technology is there, uh, local value creation. Uh, we have Indian partners such as Reliance, Australia Wilson, uh, there's amazing companies in India, uh, big off-takers. I've had uh, different uh, talks with uh, Indian steel companies. Uh, India is a, um, a pioneer in uh, DRI technology, uh, now with gas, not yet, uh, but instead of coking coal gas, and it will be hydrogen, of course. So yeah, that would be my message, and uh, continue to show leadership and focus on execution.